every relationship, everything is there for a reason. Ever think it would be cool to work for Beyonce and Jay-Z? You won't believe what this family's nannies make. <laughs> but Lord, I'm gonna have me a time. When Beyonce and Jay-Z welcomed their twins, Rumi and Sir, they officially became a family of five, along with their first daughter, Blue Ivy. So like any outnumbered parents, Bay and Jay got some full-time help. Less than a year later, Beyonce was taking the main stage at Coachella, and the couple was releasing their collaboration album, Everything Is Love. How do they do it? With an army of nannies, of course. It's been great. I feel free. I feel very empowered, and I feel the happiest I've ever been in my life. After the twins entered the picture, Beyonce and Jay-Z hired a total of eight nannies to help with the day-to-day -day chaos of taking care of three kids. Since the twins were on different sleeping schedules as babies, Beyonce hired three nannies per baby, each working an eight-hour shift to care for Sir and Rumi. That means she had at least two nannies on the job, 24 hours a day. And since Blue Ivy was only five years old when she welcomed her little brother and sister, the couple also hired an additional two nannies to watch out for Blue. But that's not too bad, considering she also had three nannies when she was a baby. And if taking care of kids who are basically royalty sounds like a big job, don't worry. These nannies get paid. It was reported that Beyonce's nannies earned around $100,000 each the year the twins were born. Not to mention, the job comes with some major perks. After having the twins, Beyonce and Jay-Z purchased a massive Bel Air mansion worth nearly $90 million. The home is worthy of the king and queen of R&B, with not one, but four outdoor pools. A spa, basketball court, fitness center, and fortress-like safety, including bulletproof glass on all the windows. Anyone else thinking of quitting their day job to become a Hollywood nanny? But as you may have guessed, being a nanny for Beyonce and Jay-Z isn't all fun and games and six-figure salaries. The famous couple has a special handbook full of rules that all of their staff, especially the nannies, have to read and sign before starting their position in the Carter household. Before the twins were born, it was called the Daily Program for Blue Ivy as per Mrs. Carter, but it's likely been renamed since. All of the Carter's nannies have to follow the rules laid out in the handbook, and no, it's not optional. Here are some of the strict rules the nannies have to abide by. For starters, the nannies have to entertain the kids and be sure not to bother Mama Bay while she's doing her workout routine. The singer meditates in the mornings and works out up to three times per day with things like stationary cycling, cardio, and weightlifting. A big part of the singer's job is to stay in top shape so she can continue to wow audiences with her signature onstage dance moves. So there's absolutely no bothering her when she's working out. Beyonce also prefers nannies to be bilingual, preferably with a solid knowledge of French. In addition to French lessons, the nannies are responsible for teaching Blue and her siblings other extracurricular lessons like art history and some basic Swahili. Beyonce apparently wants her kids to speak multiple languages, which is always a big asset for anyone who wants to travel and explore the world. The nannies hired to take care of Blue Ivy also have to be alright with spending full days shopping. Beyonce's oldest daughter is becoming a huge fashionista. One of her nannies revealed that Blue has an affinity for high-end designers. Um, surprise, surprise. Blue likes Gucci, Lily Pulitzer, and Dolce & Gabbana, and enjoyed picking out outfits for her younger siblings as they were growing up. Another important requirement for the family's nannies is that they have to make the journey to New Orleans on a regular basis to bring the kids to visit Bay's family. Beyonce has a historic home in the heart of New Orleans, and her sister Solange Knowles also has a home there in the French Quarter with her family. In addition to being into shopping and languages, Blue, Sir, and Rumi's nannies must also have a love of the arts. Beyonce and Jay-Z are super into art collecting and appreciation of contemporary art. The nannies also take them to museums regularly, so they can take in the real-life versions of their art history lessons. And it seems to be working. At just six years old, Blue purchased her first pieces of collector's art at an auction for $19,000. She's since added multiple pieces to her collection, which is just a small part of her parents' extensive collection of art. Beyonce and Jay-Z own pieces by Carrie James Marshall, Kara Walker, Richard Prince, and Jean-Michel Basquiat. A fun fact is that not only is the family into expensive art, they also love supporting emerging artists. Beyonce has young, relatively unknown photographers snap her iconic maternity shoots and post baby pics. 
My biggest job in, in the world is to protect my daughter. Blue Ivy's nannies are also responsible for ensuring she's handed off safely to her security guards each day for school. Every day when Blue goes to school, she's accompanied by two cars and three bodyguards. In order to help keep the kids safe, the nannies are required to stay in shape. Keeping up with the Carters requires some strong physical fitness, not to mention maintaining the kids' busy schedules. Since training nannies for such a specific and high-stress job takes a long time, the family makes sure that everyone they're hiring is in great shape and able to keep up with the demands of the role. How do they stay in shape? One way was learning Beyonce's single ladies dance, which she supposedly requested they learn when Blue was a toddler since it was something silly that helped soothe her to sleep. Lastly, the pair's nannies have to be okay with traveling the world. Uh, who wouldn't be? Despite having an army of nannies on call 24-7, Beyonce and Jay-Z aren't the type of parents who leave it all up to the hired help. They spend plenty of quality time with the kids. Even though the performer often travels for work, her three kids come along on tour and even hang out backstage. Of course, she also takes the nannies and personal assistants along to help out. On top of all those requirements for the nanny position, Beyonce's hired childcare helpers also have to make sure the three kids are adhering to the many rules set by their parents. Besides the perks of traveling with their parents on tour, Blue, Rumi, and Sir have some strict rules they have to follow. Probably even more than most normal kids. The kids have to live with full-on security detail at all times. They have to practice their language lessons daily. And they also have to attend extra classes in addition to their school schedules. Beyonce revealed that she hired her kids a confidence coach to help with their self-esteem. And of course, there's all that pressure to live up to their parents' mega fortunes. She led me by example. I always admired her. Luckily, Beyonce has already trademarked her kids' names, so they can venture into either the music or fashion industry when they're older, or even start a line of fragrances, hair care, or cosmetics. There's no limit to what the Carter kids can do. As for the nannies, although that sounds like a lot of pressure, rules, and requirements for joining the Carter household as a nanny, the perks and ability to see behind the scenes at not only the pair's concerts but everyday regular lives as well is well worth the effort of staying in shape and keeping up with some French lessons, wouldn't you say so? The kids' nannies aren't the only ones who have to read and sign the handbook. The kids also have assistants and a personal chef. Yep, Blue has her own personal chef, which her parents say is necessary since she's described as a picky eater. Her chef once revealed that as a youngster, Blue's favorite dish was whole wheat pasta shaped like ballet dancers and pureed asparagus. Sounds delish! No matter how much help they accept with raising their kids, Beyonce said that she always makes it a priority to spend time with her three little ones. You know, my mother and I are so close and I always pray that I would have that type of relationship with my daughter. Would you work for Bay and J? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to The Things Celebrity for more on your favorite celeb families.